Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Classic Comics. Uh, so today we're looking at Detective Comics uh, 1018. This issue is written by Peter Tomasi uh, with art by Scott Godlewski. Now, Tomasi is one of the better writers in comics these days, I think. I've never, uh, never really read anything of his that I didn't like or didn't enjoy just a little bit. Uh, I first read his stuff back when he began writing Green Lantern Corps, I think, about, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago. And his stuff is usually pretty solid. Now, the art uh, by Godlewski is, well, it's it's pretty much typical for comics these days. You know, it, the action is underwhelming and, I don't know, it's, it's a bit boring, honestly. Uh... Now, the story is called uh, Have Yourself a Pagan Little Christmas. So, obviously, this is like a Christmas story. So, we start with uh, Gotham back in the uh, 1600s. And, uh, basically, we have a Viking performing a uh, human sacrifice. Then we jump to the present. And Batman takes down some, you know, petty thieves... Dumps them off with the cops. Uh, I'm going to skip a little bit here. So then he pays a visit to uh, Harvey Bullock. And uh, they discuss a, a murder that took place at a botanical garden. And Batman says, okay, yeah, well, I'll go, I'll go take a look at it. And uh, it involves them a bunch of... Uh, Corpses that have been draped in a Christmas tree, right? And, of course, Batman's first thought is uh, Julian Day, who is the calendar man, who often, you know, he commits crimes around uh, holidays. But he's in jail, so it can't be him. So Batman goes to take a look. And then this is actually uh, kind of my favorite part of the comic here. Uh, as we actually get uh, Batman doing a little detective work. So he comes here and we find the bodies in the tree that have been uh, mutilated in various ways. And Batman, he notes, you know, how it's pretty horrific. He's, he says it's, you know, beyond anything he's really seen from any of his villains before. Which, when you think about his villains, is kind of surprising. Then he notices these kind of furrows in the ground. So he gets up in the tree to investigate and to get a better look. And he finds this kind of figure that's drawn on the ground. Which he gets some photos of. And then he heads uh, back to the back cave to uh, do some research. Then he contacts Bullock and lets Bullock know that the figure is from... Uh, you know, it's a, apparently a pagan ritual of some sort, a, a Norse ritual um, that involves the sun. But uh, before he can really investigate that any further, uh, he has to go attend a Christmas tree lighting uh, as Bruce Wayne. So he arrives here to uh, light the tree. But before he can light the tree, well, I'm not going to give away the ending, but, you know, but it sets up the next issue, the next part of this story. It's a bit of a cliffhanger ending. So, I mean, overall, you know, it's a decent comic. Like so many comics these days, you know, it just, it really, you just fly through it. There's just, you know, this took me maybe, what, 10 minutes to read? But, you know, the setup with uh, the Viking and the connection to the modern killings is interesting. And Batman, you know, and the other characters here are presented well. I mean, there's no Tom King mama's boy here, at least. And again, Batman is actually shown using his brains, using his detective abilities. And whenever he does that, I'm always pleased. Uh, the art is serviceable. You know, uh, it's not bad, but nothing really jumps out at you. The compositions are fine. 
the figure work is fine. You know, the backgrounds are pretty good. I give him that. Uh, Day puts pretty good detail into his backgrounds for the most part. And he definitely deserves some credit for that. Um, you know, but there's nothing here that's really exciting. Little The little action that there is in the comic, it doesn't really jump out yet. You, uh, you know, make you want to see more. You know, the art, it just sort of gets the job done. Overall, you know, this is a comic that it's, it's worth checking out, just barely. Uh, I do kind of want to see what the deal is with the Vi <laughs> What is the deal with the Viking? Uh, <laughs> clearly, he's uh, going to have some connection to Gotham's past or Batman's past somehow. And uh, I do kind of want to know what it is, so I think I'll check the next issue of this out. Now, uh, have you read this issue? Uh, if you did, uh, did you like it? Uh, did you not like it? Uh, were you pleased to see Batman doing some detective work for a change like I was? Uh, let me know in the comments. And while you're at it, please like this video and please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications of more videos. And I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.